What's up fishing friends? Welcome to another awesome episode of Zoo Skills Fishing. Today's video will be a first for the channel. It will be an unboxing review or vlog. But before I get into that, I just want to let you guys know that I did go fishing today, early on today, and unfortunately I didn't take my action camera along with me. It was actually the neat tide, which means the tide barely moves in and out. It stays at a constant level. And uh, previously, neap tides weren't that productive. So I just went out to fish because that's what I love to do. And I did actually catch six fish in three different species. So what I'll do for you guys is towards the end of this vlog, I will add some of the footage that I did or was able to capture on my mobile phone. It's uh, some awesome uh, fish species that I've caught, quite a large fish as well. And that will just be a quick rundown to what I caught today and you'll even see the words that I used. So guys, today's video is actually a AliExpress unboxing vlog. Now, as you can see, I did open this box just to make sure that all the products were delivered. So, I did see that they all were there, but I haven't gone through each of them individually. So, that's what I'm going to do on this video. I'm just going to go through all the lures because I actually bought lures. There are nine lures in this box. I'm just going to go over those nine lures with you guys. And I'm going to go over exactly what they are. So, before we start that though, guys, I just want to ask you a question. But before I ask you a question, let me just put this scenario out to you guys. So I'm sure a lot of you guys who spend, use a lot of expensive equipment. I mean, your rods are quite expensive, the reels are quite expensive, even your terminal tackle, like your line, fluorocarbon, your braid. So all these things cost a lot of money. And thereafter, you still have to buy lures. Now, I'm just like everyone else, I like to use expensive equipment. Trust me when I say I do have Rapala lures. Um, I do use CID lures, I use expensive equipment. With that being said, I'm sure most of you guys out there have felt the excruciating agony and pain of losing an expensive lure. Where I fish predominantly, you get a lot of anchor ropes, a lot of snags, you get a lot of uh, rocks and so on. And from time to time, if you don't lose a lure, you actually damage a lure. And this can be quite costly and in the long run, um, you know, you could lose out financially. So with that being said, I'm not saying that you should use cheap equipment. All I'm saying is, should you fish in certain conditions where you know the propensity of you losing lures is quite high? My suggestion or recommendation to you would be, I find a much more affordable alternative that actually works. So in this box right here, I do have nine lures and these nine lures I believe are replicas of larger or more predominant famous companies that do make expensive lures. So I will go through that with you and give you a description and definition of each one. So before I do that, let me just lay these lures out for you. So as you can see, this is the box that they came in from China. And these are the lures that I actually have. So I'm just going to put them on the table for you. that I have guys and uh, I'm gonna go through them right now but uh, just before I do that guys I just wanna say I'm not shooting down any of the famous companies or the expensive brands I actually got a lot of them and I do use them all the time but from time to time it can be costly and quite irritating to lose expensive lures so this is just the alternative that I found for myself and uh, guys you know what these lures look amazing. I'm just going to go through them very quickly. But before I do, I'm just going to branch, uh, break them up so that you know exactly which lure is what. Okay. So I'm just going to move these lures out. Put these lures in their place. Okay. 
Okay, so just so you guys know, one, two, three, four. Actually, Rapala replicas. This is a Mega Bass uh, replica. These are Storm Gomuko top water replicas, and these are, of course, your live target uh, bait ball crank baits or yearling bait ball crank bait replicas. Okay. So I'm not saying they're as good as the real thing, what I'm saying is these are alternatives for you. So just before we go into that, I'm just going to tell you how much I actually paid for this order. So I actually paid $9.97 for this order. And that obviously equates to 133 rands and 65 cents. So if you have to average that out, basically paid about 14 rand. 85 cents for these words each so that was quite a bargain i believe so guys i'm gonna go through these words with you right now i'm gonna start off with the rapalas because i really like them i have ordered these ones before and i've had some great success so that's why i'm gonna take take you to these ones first okay so let's go over this one first So guys, as you can see, when it comes to this lure, um, it has the shiny metal foil in there. It has, if I'm not mistaken, five ball weights. It has two extra wide gap treble hooks. It has a split ring here and it has a lip. The only issue I have with this lure is the eye. It doesn't look that natural, but um, I'm sure the action of the lure is the most important thing. So this doesn't look anything like the original. You can see this is blatantly a, a fake, right? But guys, the action is amazing. I've caught so many different new species. I've actually caught a cuttlefish on a blue one like this, and I've actually even caught, if I'm not mistaken, a cutlass fish as well. So let's go through the other colors that I have as well. Okay, so this this one looks quite nice. This will definitely work in rivers and estuary systems. I have the smaller ones as well and they seem to do the job. So these are quite sturdy. If you look at these rivers, doesn't look like it's gonna break anytime soon. No defects that I can pick up right now. Nice colors as well. You've got the black top, You've got the vertical stripes, green side belly and of course the gold on the belly yellow but it was gold to me yeah and the red eyes in comparison to the first one which is basically see through this has some pink highlights underneath the bow there so the next two these ones look surprisingly similar to the original the propellers that you get famous color so I have to get this one this is an all time favorite which is the red head the white body because the packaging is not the best right but uh, they do get there without any defects I just have an issue with one load that I saw just now and I'll go through that later but guys this looks amazing it has that metallic Shine to the middle there. It's amazing. It has the weights in there. It's one of the extra weights. The looks of things. It just gives you that extra weighting. And uh, it's awesome because the paint job is quite good. It actually has like a metallic sheen to it. Wow, this is nice. I need to use this one. Awesome stuff. Let's look at the last one, the fourth one. This is also in one of the famous Rapala uh, colors that you get. Of course, you can see there is a small issue with the paint job where they actually paint the lip as well, but that's not a big issue. Other than that, guys, it's amazing. Shiny, so awesome. Solid. These hooks, of course, won't last that long. It's not worth it, but they, they sharp. One or two applications, yeah, they're fine. I won't switch them out right now. This looks awesome. Yes, 
sulla sola similar to the real thing that it's uncanny just look at that guys just look at that I'm quite happy with these guys. So the next one I want to talk about guys, this is this is one that I'm quite happy about. So for those guys who spin a lot, so especially the salt, the fresh water guys, sorry, not the salt, the fresh water guys. I'm sure you've come across the brand which is uh, Mega Bass. And one of the most famous models they have in the Mega Bass brand is the Ito Vision 110. So that's basically 110 millimeters in size. And guys, this is a replica of it. This looks so awesome. So it does have the black highlights around the eyes. And normally with the Ito Visions, you notice that um, they're so amazing, guys. Mega Bass is an amazing company. Just like Rapala, they make awesome stuff. And that's why it's so expensive. They put a lot of money and energy into the technology and research. And um, these are just replicas of that. You know, they say uh, the highest form of flattery or imitation is the highest form of flattery. So these companies that make these lures, yeah, just make it for the people who really can't buy these all the time. And there is a market for that. Where there's a uh, demand, there will be a supply, right? So guys, um, unfortunately, Mega Bass is not available in Africa, or not that I'm aware of. And if it was, most likely I would buy one or two. Yeah. Since I couldn't, I decided to buy this one first um, with this order. So, guys, this is so amazing. This one is actually quite similar to the real thing. Look on the top there, guys. It has it has kind of like a matte finish. It's not metallic. It's quite more of a slightly dull finish. It has a I would say a lavender in between pink and purple finish to the top there. Uh, it actually has a silver sides. However, when you hold it to the light, you can actually see through this one. So right now, I'm sure you can't see my, my finger. But when you hold it like, against the light, you can actually see through it, which is awesome. Um, it has, as I said, the black highlights around the eye. And it has a chartreuse on the belly. That's so awesome. And guys, it has... I'm not sure if you can hear that. But it does have sound ball bearings in there, sound beats. So guys, uh, I have another one like this as well, uh, uh, but it doesn't look as awesome as this one. This goes and it has a nice, catches light quite nice, so I'm quite impressed with this one. I think this one is well worth watching for the camera. Of course it has three turbos, but it's 110 millimeters in size. And I have a few more of these with some super copies as well, which means they're quite close to the real thing. I'll do those in future unboxing. So this is quite nice. I'm quite pleased with this one as well. Then we go over to these ones. So these ones are quite nice, guys. I was quite impressed when I saw these online. And uh, I said, no, I need to get these. So these are actually uh, replicas of the live target bait ball tank baits. So these will do quite nice against the rocks when I fish because a lot of the smaller bait fish actually tend to hang around the rocks and uh, that's where you see a lot of action from like fish from the Karanjidae uh, family so those are like the kingfish, the chavalis and so on. So I got these two colors because they replicate the bait fish in my areas of fish. So most of the bait fish have this type of uh, brown to them from the top and when you hold them to the side they have quite a silver uh, look to them so those are basically glasses um, so these are quite nice as well these will obviously dive lower they'll you know, seek lower but i'm sure i can get some action of this i just flick it on my light setup it has a feather there the last treble hook on the tail treble hook and these are actually round the hooks on the back um they're awesome guys for 14 bucks well, if you look at the original guys um 
it's a lot more expensive. So what I would suggest is before, if you don't want to buy the expensive thing first and then perhaps lose it, try these out. It's just an option available to you. Guys, I use Live Target uh, equipment and it's awesome. I won't let you. Uh, I have the shrimps, a French name for these, La Cravette. And I use the shrimps as well. And I, and I've got some, I won't say I've caught fish in them, but I've had a few bites on them. So they look quite good. So this is just a mutation of the Live Target. The next two now. So guys, I'm quite impressed with these two. We just have one issue with them. Let's the next two now. So these are replicas of the Storm Gomuko range. Okay, so these are 4.5 centimeter top water beds. Um, unfortunately, on delivery, this one had a few scratches on it, sure it's due to the hooks, but nothing too bad. Um, willing to work with it, doesn't look too, too bad. As you can see the scratches here, so comes with the territory, comes with you know, delivering things from halfway across the world. It's a small price to pay, but guys, these are look awesome. This one looks so amazing. So amazing. Happy to use this guys. So just to explain it to you guys, it has like a light black top. It has vertical black lines. It has a green with a blue middle. And the underbelly basically it's clear white with the head or the chin being bright orange and the tail being bright orange and uh, guys it's a almost perfect imitation of the real thing so i use a lot of storm lures as well and uh, this looks sweet looks like <laughs> you know the guy who packed these never even get the splitting on that correctly or that effectively yeah, but i'm sure these will get me some king king bites some torpedo scads and so on like those type of species i'm quite happy with these do they have any yes they do have so guys these are silent baits these two are obviously silent baits and uh, the rest of them actually have sound beads in them so guys for the price I would say not too bad can't wait to try them out but before um, I let you guys go I just want to show you something real quick guys before I let you go I just want to show you something real quick right so as you can see these are all fakes anyone can say okay so zoof skills is a cheapo using fakes using cheap lures and uh, you know he's, he's not being true to the sport and not willing to support these uh larger you know the bigger brand companies i'll tell you right now that's a lie as you can see i guess just so that you know i'm a man of my word as you can see, here I have a Rapala Max Rap 17, right? Original. This is a cast in deep or a CID. This is also another CID, right? These are two that I got from China as well with one of my last orders. So, as you can see, guys, I use expensive equipment, my expensive lures, so to speak. And here we go again. With these as well so if you have a good look here you would see a rapala skitter v you would see a rapala subwalk and there's there's the names there just so that you can see them sorry there we go right um, you'll see unfair lures you'll see my storm lures there's a storm top watcher here and there's a whole lot of storm lures here right with that being said if you had to ask me which lure out of this whole tackle box I've had the most success with, it would have to be this one, which is a replica. So I actually got two of these. One, as you can see, I've waited just to give it a different cadence in the water. And this, I use it stock as it came. All right, so I had the most success with this, which is a replica. As you can see here, guys, this is also a replica I got, but I never get this online. I bought this actually from one of the stores 
here in Durban. And this is uh, basically a replica of the Mega Bass Anthrax 100, which is basically a fish swimming upside down on, on the surface. Right. As you can see, here, guys, I got a Berkeley uh, crankbait as well, also known as a Flicker Shad. Right. I got a whole lot of storm lures here and there. And this is the other Mega Bass I was telling you about. So, guys, you can see. I use a variety, and these are not the only lures I use, but what I'm saying is, the point I'm trying to get across is, I use expensive lures, I've lost expensive lures, and when you're fishing an area that you're not familiar with, or just by the first look you see there's a lot of uh, snags and anchor ropes and a lot of structure, and you know the chances of you losing or damaging an expensive lure are quite high, then just flick out that cheaper alternative that you have, and that's what I do. And guys, it gets me the results. Um, and it's just an affordable solution to a terrible problem that we anglers face. So I'm not promoting you I'm not promoting the fact that people should buy fakes. All I'm saying is I support the larger companies. However, from time to time I do throw some replicas here and there just to save on that cost factor, guys, because fishing can become very expensive. Um, no one has money to throw around. And I'm sure most of us guys who fish, we don't do it professionally, we do it for fun. And we have responsibilities in our homes and so on. So this is just another alternative to you. But guys, honestly speaking, I actually bought all the originals first before I ever chose to use replicas. So with that being said, guys, it's just an option out there for you. I just thought I'd let the guys who watch my channel or people who come across this vlog actually know that there's a cheaper solution or alternative out there. And you can still fish every weekend on a budget. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm also going to add to this the fish that I've caught today uh, in a small, uh, let them have a small cameo appearance. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. Uh, please stay tuned. Please like, share, please subscribe, and hit that bell notification icon. So whenever I do upload a video, you get a notification on your mobile phone, on your laptop, on your PC, whatever it is. Thank you so much, guys, for all the support. Um, thanks for watching. As I said, stay tuned for more unboxings. I have some amazing stuff to show you guys. And uh, stay tuned for more fishing action. Thank you once again, guys. And until next time, cheers.